Hello Capricorns and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your mid-June 2019 reading. Um, okay guys, um, just so you know I am doing a special giveaway for a free 30 minute reading. Um, I'm just going to say that real quick and then we'll get into the reading. Um, so all you have to do to enter that contest um, is make sure you are subscribed to the channel, share a video or share the channel on social media, and then email me. And yes, I will know if you do or don't share. Um, and my email is right below this video in the description box along with all the information you would need to book a reading with me. You have until the end of June to enter. Um, so again, just make sure you're subscribed, share the video, email me, and you'll be um, entered into the contest. And on July 1st, I'll announce the winner. Okay, so thank you guys again so much for helping me hit 12K. It's just a little thank you for you guys. I really do appreciate it, and I can't wait to keep growing with you guys. So, um, all right, let's get into this. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see. Let's see here, Capricorns. Let's see here. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As you guys know, this cannot and will not resonate with all of you. If it doesn't, check out your other placements for your weeklies as well as your mid-monthlies. Alrighty, guys. So let's see. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy for mid-June to the end of June 2019 for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Eight of Wands. King of Swords. Cards are coming right out. The Magician. There's a lot of fast-moving, fast-thinking energy here. A lot of creator energy. So Capricorn, you could be doing a lot, traveling a lot. But I don't know, whatever you're building right now, it's quite you're quite serious about it, I feel. And you're really, um, you're really busy with it. You're really busy in terms of this. Some of you guys, I think, are making decisions to travel, to move, um, to set up, you know, um, building new routes and new places here. And maybe you're making that happen this month. Um, you're not the only sign that I've kind of gotten that with, honestly. There's like a lot of energy of travel. Maybe wherever you're traveling, you're like, wow, I can see myself living here. Let's make it happen. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands energy, King of Swords here, Capricorn. What is your energy here? Again, it's very busy. You guys are looking to do more, looking to just, you just have so many things you want to do right now. So many avenues, so much going on. You know, there's, yeah, just the Wheel of Fortune is, is upright for you. Lord of the forces of life, you know, this is about the ups and downs of life, you know, the, the, um, the hills and valleys, and right now you guys are on this, on the top of a wonderful hill, it feels like. Things seem to be progressing wonderfully. There's probably abundance coming in here. Luck. It feels like, you know, your luck is on your side, things are working out, you might be getting good, um, in terms of if you've been working at somewhere for a while, they might be giving you a raise, um, asking you to move somewhere, um, while also getting either a raise or just, I don't know, this is quite the step up if it is from the company here, or if they're communicating to you or you're putting under your belt there. Um, let's clarify the King of Swords energy. Capricorns. Strength, yeah, this is a very strength and energy. You guys have grown. You have, you know, have the courage this month to go for whatever this is. You have the strength, you have the courage, you have the energy, you've got love behind you. So whatever decisions you make, make them with strength, make them with um, commitment, you know, conviction. You know, don't be afraid to commit to things, don't be afraid to um, make the, the tough decisions this month. Four of Wands, you guys are have gotten to a, pl a wonderful place here. So appreciate how far you've grown. Sorry, how much you've grown and how, you know, whatever you've, you've created because the Magician and the Four of Wands together, you know, Lord of Perfected Work, you have, you know, really stepped up the game here. I feel that you have grown. You have realized, you know, all your different skill sets and you probably put them towards either a job, a move, um, something big here. But you know what this Four of Wands is for you and you can sense it either on the horizon or you're starting to step into it now. For me, that's kind of like our little dream spot, you know. What, where do we imagine ourselves being our happiest? You know, what is our dream situation, our dream home, you know, in terms of where we're working, living, you know, living our life here. We want to be at a certain level, you know at a certain vibration and you know have a certain amount of luxury wealth and happiness here be happy with our work feel like you know things are in balance that they're equal that things are working out and the three of pentacles says that you know you have built up here in mind body and soul in a wonderful way you probably worked very hard for this um this is really really wonderful in my opinion honestly you guys have are building great foundations in the second half of the month luck is on your side you have the strength you have the courage you have everything that you need to make things happen here so make it happen. Continue to build yourself up in whatever way you want to. 
Okay, whether this be career, love, every or all of it, you know, even just building up who you are as a person, growing, maturing, it's really wonderful. Let's take a look at let's take a look at what might help or hinder you in your environment right now. I feel like your environment is coming into play. Sun and rising Venus. It's coming out here. Again, the Wheel of Fortune, you would feel like things are pretty fortunate, but also, guys, because you're on the ups and downs of life here, make sure not to make any foolish decisions. Do anything kind of stupid here. Um, accidentally um, make some poor choices because you think, you know, everything is just going to go la di da di da. You might be so excited and happy with some things in your life here that you're not even seeing um, some decisions here as foolish. Or again, there might be people that you consider foolish in your life here that you have to watch out for as you kind of rise up they might want to try to come with you the lovers you're going to have to make some decisions here there's definitely a decision or a gemini in your energy here um that might have to do with this whole situation might have might be coming in with an offer of some type and you might have to decide whether they mean it or not it's gemini season has people you know saying this saying that but you know once it's over and we're back into cancer it's going to feel like oh wait i didn't mean that why would you take that seriously? And you're going to be like, well, I'm Capricorn and I take this quite seriously. <laughs> um, and you're going to tell me that, you know, you're not coming through. It might be, I might have something to do with an Aries. There might be an Aries or um, a Sagittarius, maybe even a Leo, that is showing up as a little bit immature. Um, you might need to, you know, either give this person, they might have made a foolish choice in the past here. I'm getting either they offended you, they did something here, and you need to either you need to reconcile this relationship. I think if that's what the situation here is, they're gonna be like, hey, like I don't know, like that was a stupid thing. Like I'm sorry, it was kind of a foolish thing to end a friendship or end a you know a relationship or even um, a work you know um, partnership over, and you guys are gonna have to kind of you know allow this to you need to be a little bit more forgiving. You need to allow yourself to let certain things go because not everybody can be perfect all the time I'm getting. However, if this person constantly pushes your buttons and is constantly um, an issue in your life, it's time to say goodbye. Um, judgment means that you have to make this judgment about this person here and about the foolish behavior they've portrayed. For me, again, there's a choice for you. That's what's happening or, you know, around you in your environment there. Um, there's definitely some changes in relationships, changes in the look of them, changes in the energy of certain relationships, friendships, work relationships. So let's look at what is in your power. What's in your power, Capricorn? What is in your power this month? I don't know why this reading is going so fast. I thought I'd been here for like 20 minutes, and I looked at it, and it's like six minutes. Think about the Hermetic Tarot, I think. <laughs> um, maybe you guys need to focus on love, and that's what we're all gearing towards. I feel like um, Aries and a couple other signs like really didn't need love readings. It was so much deeper than that. There was so much other stuff going on. But you guys seem to have things kind of under control right now in most ways. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's talk about what's in your power. Four of Pentacles reversed. Release the foundations that no longer serve you. Stop living in lack. Stop believing in lack. Stop believing that you can't build up a foundation here. When the Four of Pentacles is reversed, we're holding on to some negative things that may even be like anxiety, stress, etc. that are making us maybe even physically ill. And it's in our power here to let things go, let these situations go. If it, it's bad, even if it's like, I don't know why I'm getting this, if it's like a health situation, if, you know, the stress and anxiety is causing you to have stomach problems, you know, weight problems here, it's time to let go of that kind of energy and stop worrying so much. You're attracting a negative energy. You're making yourself literally sick, Capricorn. Wow. Um, it's time to start realizing that sometimes, you know, stress, anxiety, depression, all that kind of energy can really bring in a lot of um, negative health problems just as it can, you know, bring in just that stress and anxiety itself. You know, it, it causes physical problems as well. And you have to watch out for that. It's also, again, holding on to, it's the ability this month to let go of that feeling of I can't go any farther than what I've got here, than what I've built up. You can always learn more. You can always grow more. You can always continue to build new foundations elsewhere, you, but you have to believe that you can be willing to let go of you know what stops you in your own mentality and you know whatever it is that you hold on to any sort of negative um again when pluto is retrograding in your sign it's all about releasing those negative capricornian traits where we work ourselves to death at things that really aren't giving back to us and we're realizing oh my god why was i doing that when i could be putting this into a much more solid foundation time to you know take these pentacles and put them in a place where they're going to grow more 
I want to look at love for you guys. Use the Aquarian Tarot to look at love for you guys here. Love and relationships for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I didn't even talk about the astrology because I'm going to talk about them. I talk about astrology more in the weeklies. And I'll do a specific video for the Sagittarius full moon on the 17th. But um, on the 21st, we have the sun moving into Cancer, the summer solstice. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see here. See here, the wonderful, wonderful Capricorns for love and romance energy, relationship energy. It doesn't have to come in as a relationship or even as a love relationship. It could be a family relationship, a friendship. This has to do with um, general readings of your love energy this month. It's in your love energy, middle of June to the end of June. Two of Pentacles reverse. Yeah. If you guys have been like, you know, trying to decide between two people. <laughs> Or two situations, um, or again, you've been juggling in your relationship here. It's about dropping one of the pentacles you've been juggling. And a lot of times that has to do with work, or again, a person. <laughs> the tower, like I was saying before, like if you've been juggling a couple different people here, third party situations, it will come out. People gossip in Gemini season. People will gossip in this Sagittarius full moon. It, things will come out, things will be put out there. People won't be able to keep their mouths shut. Honestly, I don't know why. Six of Pentacles reverse. Things are imbalanced. Um, if you got caught in a third party situation, or again, if you were the one in the third party, you know, creating the third party situation, it's it, whether you drop one of those Pentacles or not. If you've been unfaithful, it's out. It's out. Um, okay, let's get some clarifiers here. Let's clarify two Pentacles. Tower here. What's this shift here? Where's this dropping of the two pentacles that's resulting in the tower for Capricorns? Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Okay. The star reverse. Yeah, maybe we've been too dreamy about somebody here. This whenever I see the star reverse, we've built up somebody or something to a level of hopefulness that they just can't fulfill. We're living in our hopes and dreams and we're hoping things will be okay. Um, however, I do see whatever is happening here just for your best interest that this, you know, situation all happens. If you had felt, you know, that nothing was going to take the situation down, no one was ever going to find out, you were being way too hopeful about it, okay? Too many cards just came out. Oh, okay, yeah, King of Cups reversed. If you're dealing with a water sign, they're upset. If these are your emotions, you're emotionally disrupted by this whole thing. Again, it can go either way, whether this is you involved in the third party situation or you find out about it, you thought everything was going to be fine and then all of a sudden it's like you were living in this hopeful, dreamy energy where you just really weren't seeing things as it was. You had rose-colored glasses on and the tower's like, hey, that wasn't stable at all. There's no foundation there. So um, I would say get in touch with friends and um, people that love you this month and rely on them through this because it seems very painful. It does. Um, King of Cups reverse, you know, there's heartbreak here, a loss, definitely. Six of Pentacles reverse, it's because somebody wasn't willing to give what you were, or again, you weren't willing to give an equal balance to a relationship. I'm not really getting anything else for that, honestly. I'm going to pull a couple cards of what's in your strength in terms of love here. In terms of, you know, what's in your strength that will help you in your love and romance energy this month. <laughs> Six of Swords comes right out. Let it be. Let it go. Take the emotional energy out of that. Just take your lessons. You've learned to let some important lessons here and move on forward. You're better off without this person, without the energy that you are leaving behind there. You know, it's time to, again, yeah, realize that you can put your energy into different things here. We can start new relationships. You can... Um, you know, again, take what you've got here and get ready to put it out there again. Get ready to start new beginning. you know, have new beginnings in terms of love and relationships. Don't give up on it because of what's happened here. You have the ability to keep on going, to just be like, okay, well, you know, this hasn't worked out. Time to keep on trucking and find someone that's good for me here. Find someone that's better for me. Time to, you know, really um, look for new, you know, look at what, you know, take these lessons here and apply it to new relationships. Grow from it. Take what I've got here and put it out into the world in a realer way to bring in better energy, better relationship opportunities. So let's pull a Romance Love Oracle card here, Romance Angel Oracle card by Dorian Virtue. I can never say that right. Why? God, I don't know what's going on. It's like I'm in a time warp in your reading. This feels like it's been going on forever, and yet it's been like... 
14 minutes. So maybe you guys are, again, remember that Eight of Wands energy? You guys are like, all right, time. All right, is it there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? So maybe that's really what's going on here is that we're kind of rushing through some things. We're trying to rush through some huge changes because we probably, because again, as an earth sign, not so comfortable. Tower moments, really not comfortable for earth signs or any fixed sign either. But wedding guys, if you guys are wondering whether you're ever going to find somebody, yes, you will. Have faith in it, okay? And if you're going to any weddings, parties, you know, keep your eye open. Keep your eye out there. Um, wow, guys, children. Your love life is being affected by children. Whether this is your inner child that you aren't, you know, feeding enough here, or again, you're being a little bit too childish and immature. Um, there's a need to look at, you know, how that energy of children plays out in your life here. If you are married, you have children, you know, there's, they could be, they could be giving you trouble with you into your relationship this month, or you know, have, giving you some issues. But you might need to pay more attention to your children at this time, and then kind of, you know, put just trust the universe is bringing that right person in. Um, and again, if you are in a relationship. It does feel like you're stepping up to a higher level of commitment. Your marriage is um, coming in here. Maybe you guys are having children or thinking about it. I don't know. There's really wonderful energy, though, um, in terms of what all this is for. So, um, Cancer. Did I just say Cancers? Oh, my God. What is up? What is going on with you guys? Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer. You're going into Cancer season. If I said Cancer before, guys, know that I was thinking about Capricorns. And then I just looked at my moon. <laughs> my astro moon journal over here and it said you know the sun moves into cancer and i probably just said it because of that so i apologize guys i try really hard not to flub up my words here sometimes some people take it very seriously like you were focusing on cancer no oh, i probably just accidentally read it for a second there <laughs> um or I, sometimes you know i just i have issues speaking sometimes i'm not perfect um so anyways capricorns <laughs> Messages from your higher self of guidance. Anything my Capricorns need to know for advice and guidance? Wow, you're not the only person that got this. I think Pisces got it. Midnight, the most magical hour of all. What else comes out here? Werewolf, exploring wildness. I love it. So, midnight. <clears throat> Where is it? Okay, allow yourself to relax into the benevolent... Um, darkness of midnight. You may feel this is your darkest hour, but know that the light will return again. The dawn always follows the darkest night. Know too that it is important to recognize that we all have darkness within us, just as we have light and this isn't something to hide from. You can take these guys as daily affirmations, come back to them whenever you're feeling lost or in a rut here. Um, I love these messages as, I don't know, they're, they're just amazing. I really love them. So anyways, werewolf. Okay, the werewolf is a kind of shapeshifter, but one that has traditionally had little control over his wildness. In a way, an inner battle between civilization and wild animal nature fights inside the one body. The vitality, strength, and freedom of the animal versus the reason, control, and intellect of the man. Which one, though, is the dominant force? What is the healthy balance between our animal nature, one that is wild, free, and connected to nature, and our radically civilized humanness, separate from or dominant over nature? The werewolf asks us to consider this balance and to delve into our own ideas of wildness, independence, and custodianship of the planet. When is the last time you spent all day outside? When is the last time you threw your head back and held at the moon? Do you quash the vitality and curiosity of your body and mind by sitting all day in front of a computer? The werewolf challenges you to leave a balance between nature and your own nature. So, I really love this, guys. Um, these are your messages, Capricorn. These are your messages um, for mid-June to the end of June here. Check out your weeklies. Um, I just want to say, if you guys are interested in any oils, um, or, you know, infused oils, whether, you know, it's hoodoo, voodoo, witchcraft, wicca, um, I work with an amazing woman who makes these amazing oils. She just made a bunch of full moon, new moon, and high john oil, and it's, oh my god, they're amazing. They're so powerful. I love them. So if you guys are looking for any specific oil, she might make them in special batches here. She does do custom orders if you are interested. Um, so definitely uh, message her up here. Her name is Mary. And again, that's the information. I'll leave it there as I finish here. But um, anyways, guys, if you want to enter that contest again, remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm saying the wrong thing here. <laughs> If you want to enter that contest for the free half hour reading, all you got to do is make sure you are subscribed to the channel and then share a video or share the channel on social media and then email me. And again, my email is below this video in the description box along with all the information you would need if you are looking to book a reading with me. Um, all that's there as well. Um, so thank you guys again. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for helping me hit 12K. 
Um, I cannot wait to grow even more. I'm looking to grow so much more, guys. And um, I hope you enjoy the merch that I put out. Capricorn is one of the signs that's out. And so is Pisces. I forgot to mention that in their video, too. Um, but your sign is out on some merch there. So check it out, guys. I'm so excited to share it with you. Oh, my gosh. As I say this, there's a snake in the grass in front of me. So, um, yeah, maybe some of you guys are cutting out some snakes this month. <laughs> wow. Um, we're done with messages so i'm gonna let that guy just sit out there and if he comes up in any of your lives if you guys have a snake in your life snake in the grass here and it comes out let me know in the comments below because that's a strange way to leave this um <laughs> i was just about to say goodbye so anyways guys thank you so much um um thank you guys so so much i appreciate you all